We will keep track of that game for you. But in Birmingham, time for the next tip of the night. Number six, Oklahoma. Number three, Louisville. Vern Lundquist and Bill Raftery. All right, Greg, East Region's second round from Birmingham. It's the six-seeded Oklahoma Sooners out of the Big 12 with a 23 and 11 record against the third-seeded Louisville Cardinals from the Big East. They come in 25 and 8. We had a thriller here earlier this afternoon as Butler and Tennessee went into overtime before the Volunteers advanced. They await the winner of this game next weekend, Friday, in Charlotte. And the starting lineups for each team on your left, it's Austin Johnson, David Godbold, who had a brilliant first-round game, Tony Crocker, Blake Griffin, and Longar Longar. And for the Louisville Cardinals, Jerry Smith, Andre McGee in the backcourt, Juan Palacios at one forward, Terrence Williams, the junior from Seattle, and David Padgett, the senior from Reno, Nevada. Today's game is being brought to you in HDTV by HP. Our officiating crew, Gary Maxwell, John Caldwell, and Zelton Steed. Oklahoma outlasted St. Joseph's by eight in the first round. And the Louisville Cardinals defeated Boise State in the first round encounter here on Friday. It'll be Griffin and Padgett with the tip at center court. Controlled by McGee of Louisville. And for Lundquist, Oklahoma goes. Minimit. Smith. Williams. McGee looks inside. Here's Padgett out on the perimeter. Makes a lot of decisions. Smith, yes. That's a good positive start. Oh, my goodness. When he makes shots like that, it really opens up their offensive game. Full court pressure, you're going to see this in the half court. They're going to challenge the guards. And also, if they double, they're really going to concentrate Louisville on rotating to the open shooters. I don't think Gabo will get those clean looks or as many, Vern. This is Crocker. Nowhere to go. It's touched last by Palacios, so it will be Oklahoma ball. Louisville up three, 19-12. We played uh, less than a minute. Godbold inbounds. Johnson. Andre McGee finds Palacios. Baseline jumper, yes. Now you got to run back and identify. They're going to push it. They complement their pressure defense with the uptick offense. Here's Godbold in the backcourt. What a place to pick up your dribble. And then give it to the big guy. Hell ball, possession arrow, Oklahoma. Well, you know when the game starts, you got to be prepared. But you can just see the numbers here. And all of a sudden, the ability to get ahead of people and not recognize. I mean, that's just tardy, absent-mindedness, and not being prepared. Rick Pitino in his seventh year as the head coach at Louisville. They got to the Final Four in 2005. Of course, Pitino, the only coach to get three teams into the Final Four. Providence, Kentucky, and Louisville. Jeff Capel in his second season as the head coach at Oklahoma. Four-year starter at guard for Mike Krzyzewski at Duke in the 90s. And Six. right now, that 2-3 zone, they'll switch it, and you've got to be prepared if you're a guard. Blake Griffin. Nice reset. Padgett, there's the help coming from Terrence Williams. From the corner, Godbold. Oh! I said he wouldn't get any clean looks. <laughs> no, they didn't react. A tough look here. Padgett handles it. There we are. That's twice now. The bigs have gotten down the floor. Palacios once, and then that time Padgett. Louisville three for three in the opening going. Here's Austin Johnson. Good Numbers. Use. Griffin, back to Godbold for three. So, well, much, so much for my scouting report. I guess the other day was not a mirage. Now, he can get hot. There's no question about it. 
He is out right now, playing with confidence. Godbolt had 25 points and did a stellar defensive job in the opening round game that went over St. Joseph's. He was terrific. Here's Terrence Williams. Godbolt defending him in the paint. Palacios back to Williams. The extra pass off the front rim. Shot down by Jerry Smith. Nice job by Palacios getting a piece of it. All of it starts with the big guy here. He's got an amazing feel for the game. Williams. Austin Johnson with a rebound for the Sooners. He'll run. Padgett back. So Johnson heads to the corner. And he's out of bounds. That's what they do. They rush you, confuse you, make you do some things you're unaccustomed to doing. A little too ah, big. Ah. Shoes are big. Huh? You don't think so? Well, maybe. Now you got a little piece of it. If you're going to be picky. <laughs> well, uh, at this time of year, you have to be. I guess. <laughs> Padgett. Nice get back. In the corner, Palacios. Nope, too strong. Now doing a nice job keeping Padgett off the rim. Long guard. Crocker with a rebound, and Taylor Griffin getting ready to come onto the floor now. Blake Griffin's older brother. A nice screen to get the big guy, Blake, to the box. And they just counter with two. Little touch pass to Godbold. <laughs> oh, and that's the one thing in talking to the assistants at Louisville. They were not going to give him those opportunities on doubles. So much for that. I mean, I'm, surely you jest. He's three for three from three. And he had a career high of 25 the other night. He averages for the year seven points per game. Padgett slips out of his hand. They may have gotten a piece, too. Austin Johnson, Longar, Longar calls for it. Didn't get it. Now they look into Longar. He's got the little face-up jumper. He's got a hook, too. Over Padgett, short. Not a good one. Terrence Williams for Cardinals. Palacios with the screen. Williams in the lane. In the corner, Smith. Good check out. Heads up play. Austin Johnson. Austin Johnson, Johnson yeah. yep. But his improvement has helped this team. Settles him down. He can get off as well. He can get some big numbers. Longar out on the perimeter. There's that double. Now, what do they do with it? Give it back on the floor and a... David Godbold, three for three from three, and Oklahoma leads by two. Well, we invite you to check out the nominees for the Pontiac Game Changing Performance of the Tournament at Pontiac.com slash NCAA, where you can also enter for a chance to win a Pontiac G8 and a trip for eight to this year's Final Four. And, you know, Vern, you're abusing me here only once in double figures in the last 11. nice yeah. little play here for godball and he's got nine already <laughs> and he had 25 the other night and he played great defense against yes. pacalatus as well so edgar sosa and earl clark are off the bench now for louisville here's clark had a terrific game he's had a pretty good season hasn't he yeah he's really grown uh, you can see him slipping into the post the only thing he's got to work on and they don't want it from him right now is that three-point shot He's got a middle game, and he also sees things. Terrific passer. Got a nice personality, too. We yeah. Built that a, a nice smile. Of course, when we're talking to him, he's not doing drills for Rick, so he's smiling, <laughs> too. <laughs> Taylor Griffin is on the court now for Oklahoma, number 32. So he and his younger brother, Taylor at 6'7", Blake Griffin at 6'10". That one tipped up. Williams has it, and here's Sosa. Yeah, it's such a valuable commodity to have. Uh, Smith that time tipping it out. There's the pass to Padgett. Well, they don't stand still when they give it to him. He just powers to the goal. If you don't double him, he can beat you with that little baby hook. Louisville back up by one, 10-9. Now Griffin, who can dribble the ball. How about that control? Yeah. So he didn't charge. A little adjustment in midair. And Godbold finally misses. A foul is called. 
And let's take a look at David Padgett. Well, if you don't come and double me, you can just see they're looking to sniff just a little bit. He lets the traffic clear and then lowers that shoulder. And of course, the little jump hook. He doesn't elevate a great deal because of all the knee surgery and the kneecap problem he's had. But this kid knows the game. Nice look oh, off the screen. My. Oh, my. Now, Williams, that triple, double guy. He's got two of them in his career with a great feed. Here's Godbold. Louisville up by three, 13.30 to go first half. Winner goes into Charlotte. They will take on Tennessee. Williams goes for the steal, and it's off Crocker. Louisville ball. Now you got to be ready for being that 2-3 zone uh, effective with the interception. But right here, now just watch this, Fern. This is an assist by Padgett. I mean, he sets a great screen, and then the trust in yourself and your teammate to throw that excellent bounce pass by Williams. Jerry Smith being followed by Crocker. Now they back uh, back down Austin Johnson to help off Padgett. And Clark goes to the floor. The feed. How about that? Oh, I think it was for Padgett. Believe it or not. What an attack of the tin by the big fella. Seven unanswered for Louisville now. And they are up by five. This is where you've got to really pass the ball well against this zone. Got to get in the gaps, occasionally flash high. Now he's, Rocker the, Kendall. he's the best of the lot, I think, from deep. 43% leads that team in three-point percentage. Started all but one game. Tony Crocker, the sophomore out of San Antonio, Texas. That uh, puts the plug in the seven unanswered. Here's Clark. Taylor Griffin, baseline jumper, a little too strong, and Padgett over the top. Tough shot, forced him into a tough one, but you've got to have your hands ready. Padgett thinks it's for him, but look at the big fella. Clark surprises by stealing this thunder at terrific elevation. Derek Character is going to come on for David Padgett now. Padgett limited to only three minutes in the first round game because of foul trouble and he plays eight now before it's 745 and character is on Derek character for Padgett Preston Knowles also um, he and Sosa out uh, nice on the perimeter here's Crocker again now oh, that won't count now they've got a rule for that it'd be great I think they've got a rule for that yeah uh, Rick Pitino a guy who really energizes his team he's aggressive with them Expects a great deal. All coaches do. But this group keeping them focused is why he's really on top of them, I think. They were uncharacteristically strong from outside shooting in that run over Boise State. And now you counteract that with Sosa's drive. Well, the ability to put it on the deck really softens people up. And he's the one that's come along. They're making better judgments as the years progress. Sosa out of New York. 11.25 to go first half. Skip pass. Oh, Williams. Not a good look. No, Over no, your no. head. Everybody knew where it was going. Three on two. Knowles for three. Clark. Oh, is that great big? job. And the tip is good from character. You got it. And what happened is as Clark soared, everybody goes under the rim. And not a good foul here. Knowles gets away with one. Gets so, it in the hands of Austin Johnson. Just a terrific job by character following. His big partner. Long R in the corner. They just don't give you anything easy. There's another one up for grabs. Clark goes for the steal, doesn't get it. And Sosa grabbed the shirt. I don't think Long is known for his passing deal. Side <laughs> goal. They say it's impossible for an underdog to go the distance. Then again, they said it's impossible to get real Coke taste and zero calories. Log on to MyCokeRewards.com and get lots of great NCAA gear. 10.41 to go first half. And the Louisville Cardinals lead the Oklahoma Sooners by six. David Padgett will get a rest now. Derek Character on for him. And let's check the uh, Oklahoma Sooners on the floor. Johnson. Crocker, the Griffin brothers, Blake and Taylor, 
and David Godbold. And Blake really has to get some touches and do some damage. Here's that trap. You got to be ready out of a timeout for Louisville. Very aggressive. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, and Seth Davis will take you out for a live look at all the action going on in the NCAA tournament. Plus, they'll announce the four finalists for the AT&T Naismith Trophy. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. Yeah, trying to get it to the middle. Nice job. How about that? Great flash. And he can make some plays, too. Blake is a little more powerful around the rim and probably has a much better offensive game, but making good selections there. Taylor. Taylor Griffin with two as we near the midway point of the first half of this East Region second round game from Birmingham, Alabama. Louisville Cardinals lead by four. Here's Clark. Stripped by Taylor Griffin, gets it nice. back, blocked, and the follow goes. How about him sticking with it? You can see his ability to stretch and two-step to the rim. Matt Crocker guarded by Sosa. Austin Johnson. They got the high baseline and then the flash. Really running some good things against his zone. A little small change on Williams. But you got to find holes in the zone, Vernon, and you get somebody in position to do some damage. You can just see a little bit late. Taylor pops in, and now he's got the option. If they're open on the baseline, he can dump it down. Uh, but that really adjusts the zone. They've got to step up now. Last foul was on Taylor Griffin. Nine twenty-one to go, first half. Louisville and Oklahoma in this uh, second of two East Region games. Here's. Tony Crocker misfires and Terrence Williams up for the rebound as uh, Louisville had a 7-0 run to take a lead which now sits at six points. Oklahoma here by virtue of a victory over St. Joseph's. Louisville in the first round knocked off Boise State. Winner gets Tennessee in Charlotte next Friday. And character with the foul here. That's what you want from Blake. Turn and challenge guys. He's going to get doubles throughout his career. He was very unselfish the other day as we look at Tennessee moving on. Rick Pitino is going to put David Padgett back on the floor along with Andre McGee and Jerry Smith. So character gets a seat. Preston Knowles gets a seat. We've got 8.52 to go. First half. Well played game. Oklahoma and Louisville meeting for the first time in 20 years. Last time they met was on this floor. In 1988, that was an Oklahoma team that went to the championship game and lost to Danny Manning in Kansas. There you go, Quick move now. That's what he's got to do. Up and under. They got steps. Wow. Start of a pretty good move. He may have moved the foot because the big's coming at him. That's what they need. Quick decisions and go with his power. Omar Leary will come off the bench now and replace Austin Johnson for Jeff Capel's Oklahoma team. And it's McGee, Clark, Williams, Padgett, Jerry Smith. And a little 2-3 zone now. This is the one area. Can they make deep shots? We know Smith can. Can others provide a lift? Kate Davis is on the floor for Oklahoma. Here's Smith. Yes. That's, that's the one guy you yeah. know in the scouting report. And I just see Jeff Capel waving. Get out on him. Look how they rag you, Vern, and throw it up for grabs. At the oh, other end! Oh. Oh, leave the chandelier, big fella! Can he pogo hop, huh? McGee! Cade Davis with a rebound. See, the zone's gonna force other guys to beat them. They just gotta know where Smith is. Omar Leary, number 11. David Godbold has hit three threes in this ballgame. He had 25, a uh, season high in the first round win. Godbold, now the Griffin gives it back to Leary. Now, just to say, reset. You know, he's your stud in there. You play Griffin as many touches as you can. Yeah. End up with a turnover. Nice tip by Jerry Smith. Alley oop. 
And Kate Davis gets back and picks up the foul. Smart play though too. Don't give they don't get the house involved. But the ability to get down the floor and elevate is that some talent for Lundquist? Send it in. Line three, there's the significance. Eight turnovers, only one for Louisville, and Louisville's taking advantage of the referee of those turnovers. That's Louisville's game, though. They want to make it a ratty type of game, be aggressive on the ball. They gave up some open looks to David Godball, and that's not what they're after. They want to double Blake Griffin down on the box, but Oklahoma, I think, now has their legs. They're handling the zone and the changing defenses. 23-16, with 7.15 to go in the first half, and Terrence Williams is at the line. Terrific junior out of Seattle. Bill mentioned he has two triple doubles this year, the third and fourth in the history of the Louisville Cardinals basketball program. Johnson and Crocker will come back on now. Kate Davis and Omar Leary will uh, go to the Oklahoma bench. And Williams shoots one more. He's one of those kids that really enjoys passing as much as anybody. You know, he just loves to give it up. Scoring's part of it. Nine-point lead, 7.15 to go. There's that little delay double out of the man. Twenty-five, sixteen. Louisville hit its first three of the ball game. They have led throughout. Had a run of seven unanswered a moment ago, and they're up by nine right now. And because you can't move on the inbounds, and Clark so big trying to take away the vision. Here comes the same trap, and it worked, and a pull. On the deuce. Well, McGee in there for defensive purposes, but Clark's size and length just so suffocating burn. Oklahoma coach Jeff Capel can do not but look on, and McGee gets a free throw. Now look at the big guy come over here now, and just uh, with, and you're afraid to go at him because you can't make a pass if you go away from the quick hands of McGee prevail. Into the hands of David Godbold, number 15. And now Austin Johnson at the point for Oklahoma. There's Padgett. He goes over Padgett short, tipped. And Terrence Williams for Louisville. 6.50 to go, first half. And Vern, the press works when you take shots like that and don't connect. It rushes you. Now Padgett. Second seated. Uh, Tennessee advance, third seed in Louisville trying to get to Charlotte. Here is Blake Griffin with a rebound, number 23. This is a big kid, and look at his ability, the skill level. Griffin, the freshman, the younger, older brother on the bench right now, in and out. Padgett with a rebound. Very nice play by Johnson, the extra pass. Got to get back. Smith dishes to Clark. Long. Stride in a basket. Wow. A lot of people looking for a walk. I don't think he did, though, Vern. But just talk about the length. How about these steps? Extraordinary length. One, two, buckle it. Knock it down. Skill level extraordinary. Is that a dance instruction? Yeah, it's One, a, two. It's a wedding tune I picked up over the years. Padgett with a nice hand as he goes out. That was about a seven-foot stride for Earl Clark. This keeps getting better. Amazing the response to extraordinary coaching. 30-16, nearing the six-minute mark. Crocker with a dish. Longar can't hang on. Saved. Here's Crocker. Rejected by Williams. Sosa. Williams. Strip out of bounds, knocked there by Godbold. They are a millimeter away on passes and touches and challenging shots, Louisville. Just amazing reaction. You think you've got something, and they respond. Now, Terrence Farley was on for a brief moment. Earl Clark much longer. Nice applause as they go to the bench. Padgett is back. Sosa's on the floor, so also is Juan Palacios. The two seniors who missed the first quarter of the season, Palacios and David Padgett, each with injuries. Now look for Sosa to make some good judgments. When he came in earlier, he went right to the rim, 
It was blocked, or at least the backboard got a piece of it. Didn't run anything. Godbold playing the passing lane. They give it up to Williams. Oh. points by Louisville in the three-second area, and they haven't even worked hard. Uh, pageant has been doing a terrific job. He's a great target. Here's the back cut. Everything around the rim, and Oklahoma, if they're going to get back in this, Clark with that strong send it in. They're going to have to contest passes, uh, do a better job on the box area, and conversely, they're going to need some play from Blake Griffin. This is just a strong defensive team, Louisville, who takes you out of what you want to run, so individual talent has to surface. This is a 19 to 4 Louisville run. Here's Blake Griffin. Gets it back outside. Omar Leary back on the floor now. Number 11. But the two point guard mentality now just to control the issue. Jeff trying to stop the problems. Long arm sends it right side. There's the entry pass. Griffin outside Godbold. And Rush. They got out. Sosa did a good job. At the other end, here's Sosa with a run out. Hello. They make you pay. Miss it. The sprint out. 21 to 4 and a 19 point lead. A 21 4 run. Bernie, the other day, I think I said it to you, they always look like they've got six or seven men. Yeah. The way they just gravitate to the ball, force tough shots. Johnson misses from three, and we've seen this play before. <sighs> Timeout. Jeff really frustrated. You gotta get back. Can't give up easy ones. Gotta play solid. Gotta step up, Oklahoma. Well, the ability to woo woo. That's getting up and down, getting easy opportunities all set up by superior defense, forcing deep shots. The deep jack, jump shots, start the fast break. The inability to get good ones has cost them dearly. They've got to do a better job of the offensive end and then get back if they want to get back in this firm. And Oklahoma now down by 21. A 23 to 4 run. Here's Blake Griffin. Puts it on the floor and misfires. Long arm with the rebound. And a decent shot. Got them the offensive rebound. See if they can stop. Let's see what they end up in. Straight Under up four. man. Excuse me. Palacios. No, we were so taken. We've seen Louisville now. We saw them in the regular season finale against Georgetown. Such a well-played game. And, of course, one of the shocks today is Davidson coming from way down and knocking Georgetown out of the tournament. Louisville in command of this one. Congratulations to Western Kentucky and Villanova. They both advanced to the Sweet 16. Davidson comes from 14 down to knock off Georgetown. They get to the Sweet 16 first time since 1969. And Stephen Curry having a brilliant tournament thus far. Uh, Bob keller has been there, done a great job. Uh, this is a confident team. Some good players. 3.40 to go first half in this one. There's a little cheap foul. Juan Palacios picks that one up, and that's his second. 37-18, a 23-4 run. Sent Louisville after this huge lead. Austin Johnson, junior out of Amarillo, Texas. Well, got to take advantage right now, Vern, if you got the clock stop, make these. See if you can force Louisville into some tough shots. But you got a rebound as well. David Padgett back on the floor now for Rick Pitino's team. They look like a well-oiled machine right now. They, uh... I remember we chatted with Patino during the shoot around here on Thursday. They had lost their last two games prior to coming in here. Lost to Georgetown on a three-second play with almost no time left. And then dropped the first-round Big East tournament game to Pittsburgh in overtime. Mm -hmm. And yet Patino wasn't distressed at all, was he? He thought they played great basketball. Right. Now, I think the key with them is can they make some shots? You know, they're going to play the same way defensively. 
If they can ring the bell at the other end, then they are a legitimate contender. They looked really sharp in their win over a, a, a gallant Boise State team here. That was a three versus a 14. A yeah, real good Boise State team, I yeah. thought. Watching them on tape as impressed in person. Omar Leary, right side, Godbold. Nice little pin down. It gives him a nice look. Long art, misfires from 14. And it's out of bounds. This will be Oklahoma ball. Well, they're doing a nice job loading up on Blake Griffin down in the box on that offensive rebound. He is a big, tough-looking kid. Griffin, uh, knee injuries, both knees. He had some ligament damage on his left knee. Expected to be out a month. He missed one game. Then he had a meniscus problem early March with his right knee out for one game. Amazing. It is incredible. Here's Griffin. Back screen, and then they get that little diagonal to the box. And look at the preparation. Patrick was over there ahead of Clark, who was guarding him. <laughs> Long art. Help comes from Jerry Smith. Oh, they make you work. Patrick just stood him up, didn't he? Looked like the Statue of Liberty. 2.25 to go, first half. Sosa guarded by Leary. Here's Padgett. Reach in from Johnson. Padgett goes over long arm. That's his game. You let him set up that deep. He's too strong for long arm. Pins him in the lane. You can see him using the wide body. Sosa takes a not unpleasant trip. <laughs> well, some guys have all the luck, you know. And then Padgett able to stand them up. And then the counter at the other end pins his man. You can see the good, strong legs, the elevation, and the knockdown. Leary. Austin Johnson. Two steps. I thought he did. Wow. <laughs> he went from here to Tuscaloosa. Oh, goodness. I didn't, uh, I didn't get any barbecue on the way. No, he did not. Of course, he didn't get stopped by the uh, Alabama Highway Patrol either. So no, that's no. true. So All it's things. a safe trip. Yeah. But you got to finish that one, huh? Yeah. And that's so important when you're coming from behind. You get an opportunity like that. 39-20 with less than two to play first half. Winner here goes up against Tennessee on Friday in Charlotte East Region. Omar Leary with the foul. Play within yourself and don't get anxious. Uh, Terrence Farley, another senior on this team, is going to come on. I think for Padgett, yes, he will. Now, Rick's got that nice rotation now. Farley's getting a few more minutes. Of course, character being the backup for Padgett. Character sitting with two fouls. So Farley will uh, get extensive playing time here toward the end of the first half. Knowles, Williams. This is a good defensive trip. Here's Farley. Yep. Uh, the fans love him because he's hung in there. Yep. And Padgett over there applauding. He's enjoying it as much. Griffin. Johnson. If you don't make him pay, they settle into their day. God bold for three. Not there. Longar tries to save it. Touched it last. David Padgett is really enjoying this right now. He sure is. Well, the centers drill together, and there's a feeling. Just the hard work that's put in. Even if you don't get minutes, you're doing the same drills. Finally, you get a little juice. Under a minute to play. Clark with the screen and the three-pointer. That's the one shot he's going to get better at. Didn't really get the rotation. Leary for Griffin, and Clark with a foul. And they say that about Clark for around 21%. It's just not the rhythm that he's going to develop. Is that just hours in the gym? Yeah, I think it's just a lot. You know, all your life you've been able to do uh, physically or right. be a presence against people. So you don't really develop the technique and the confidence level. Because you beat him inside, why not? Long art on the missed free throw. 40 seconds to go, first half, a 41-20 Louisville lead. Now you need to score and then to stop if you're Oklahoma. Get a little confidence back. 
Omar Leary. Turn quick. Farley defending. And they scored a goal. Boy, did he work for that one. He's got great footwork and agility for the size of individual he is. And if you don't double him, he can take you. I would imagine next year, yeah. he'll think more for himself, Fern. This is just great footwork. Here comes the double. They don't close it. They gamble on it. And then the step through, and there is a guy on Easter Sunday. Still gets a chance for three. Griffin at the line. Will Scott is on for Terrence Williams. And Griffin will shoot one more. Edgar Sosa is also on the floor. Griffin. Five points. Now what they have on the floor, wing shooters in Smith and Scott. You'll see what Sosa does when he runs. Usually under, I'd say, seven seconds. Now it's seven. There they go. Sosa kicks it way across court. Jerry Smith. Scott. Score. Yes! Yes! They got to look at it, but how about Will Scott? The Scott family ecstatic. I think he got it. I think you're right. See him look at the clock. Oh, I don't know. Double oh, zero. Maybe not. Huh? Give the kid a break. It's the double zeros yep. that will determine this. Will Scott, father, Dr. Norman Scott, longtime New York Nick team physician, good friend of Rick Patino's. He looks. Oh, good. What do you it, think? It, it looked pretty good there. They're going to take a look. I mean, this thing's pretty close. Live, I thought it was good. Let's see the double zeros up here. He looks. That. I think he got it. He may have. Huh? He may have. Now the referees have to signal on their own. Every buzzer beater must be checked. Wow, look at that. That's great camera work. And by All the way, right. our guys work hard over this week. We really appreciate I think it. It's, I think it's good. But what do I know? I'm Scandinavian. <laughs> yeah, that's out of See, his hand. Yeah. One tenth of a second left. Right? Yep. Or a hundredth. How about the presence of mind? Well, I think when, it's you're good. A, when you're a double major, you know what's going on. As they say, score the basket. For Will Scott. We'll send you to Greg Gumbel with AT&T at the half after this message and this word from your local station. Now here's the in-game box score powered by CBS College Sports Network, the 24-hour college sports channel from CBS Sports. Well, Rick Pitino's team up by 22. He's got 12 guys dressed out. He played 11 in the first half, 10 scored, two turnovers. What's he talking about right now? <laughs> uh, uh, they came out early. Yeah. I'm sure he ran out. He'll find something, though. That's his <laughs> style. Uh, they're ready. They look like they're ready to make a run. They've gotten very good at the correct time, Vern. Well, we always look in these first and second round games. I agree. You look for a team that's got a spark, uh, and especially from a third seed. I mean, that's very accomplishable. There's a word I just made up. I like that. I like that. I don't. But nevertheless. As Pat Summerall used to say, 44-22. Underway in the second half, and it's McGee, Williams, Smith, Padgett, and Palacios, the starting five on the floor. Here's Padgett. Yeah, not a good one there. And, and speaking of there, Blake Griffin, uh, what have we got? Three shots for him, Burns. Yes. He needs a ton of shots. They're going to keep feeding him, force feeding him. This is a unique talent. They do so many things, uh, either facing, back to the basket, putting it on the deck. Ball inbounds into the hands of Jerry Smith, now McGee. And Burns, this isn't a bad move to 2 3. 
Simply because you know where Smith is, and let's see if they'll miss a few. Okay. And he can rebound and get some runouts. But stay on number three, four. Palacios fires it out to McGee. So much for the zone. Make McGee shoot it. And my mistake. Wow. Your scouting report is a faulty. And I know you went to Mass last night. Yeah, well, somebody has to pray for this group. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot to overcome. No, only kidding. Johnson goes left. Crocker. There's oh. Griffin. I'm going to take the guy. Yeah. But even though it is his own, he can elevate over people. Griffin saves it. Ten on the shot clock. God bold. There's Padgett. Colossus Padgett. Oh, geez. Threw it right off. Right off Williams' head. I don't know why Williams <laughs> didn't catch that, Fern. He should have had that. <laughs> Look at the two. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How about this? Doink. We're going to have to play with helmets out here. And they had a lot of fun at that. Well, at this number, you can enjoy yourself. Exactly. Here's Crocker. There he is. Now go on. He got bumped, too. That's good. Just keep it up. And nice kid. See, he hit Pageant as he went down and just making sure he's okay. Padgett up and under, not there. Johnson for Oklahoma. Kicks it left, God bowl for three, yes. Uh, needless to say, you need a great start. And uh, that's uh, the only way you're gonna get back in. And Rick Pitino sees it slipping just a little bit. Long way to go, but a little fire in Oklahoma. And there's always fire in the Pitino huddle. He gets after them. No now that David Beckham has brought his game to the U.S., what is it that makes him so special? Find out on 60 Minutes tonight. 17.54 to go in Birmingham. Second round game between Louisville and Oklahoma. Quick five points by the Oklahoma Sooners. And Rick Pitino was full of emotion in that timeout huddle. Speaking of David Beckham, a little spice in that huddle. <laughs> he really, well, that's amazing. Not that he wants a shutout. Look at nice back screen. How about that out of the timeout? Now he's a little more yeah. understated on the sideline. Satisfied. Back to a 22-point edge. Padgett with eight points in the ballgame. And Austin Johnson has the ball in his hands now. Parker Griffin calls for it. Nice pass. And one. Fade away. Yes. Got to get the ball to this kid. Yeah. Come on. Oklahoma, look for him. A chance for three. Just understanding where he is and when to get it to him. And they try and do a pretty good job from the top. No matter when the postman has it. Even if they're not doubling, they'll rake down, try and strip you. Padgett, nice job of screening Crocker and grabbing the rebound off the miss. 49-29, 17-08 remaining in this one. Williams, short. Griffin. Yeah, Palacios got a piece of it. Going the other way. Now, this is where Rick Medina wants to keep the pressure up. They, you don't back off the emotion. Boy, I love the way he handles the ball. It's amazing. Yeah, it, he really has some ball skills, doesn't he? Uh, he, he? He's really a very talented kid that, you know, hampered with those injuries that you mentioned during right? the game is... You know, the drill work and all of that is uh, lacking for a couple of weeks, but uh, just extraordinary talent. Ball will be inbounded by Godbold, and Palacios heads to the Louisville bench. Jumper Crocker, yes. A little middle game by the deep shooter. Not that Louisville would be content to match baskets, but... Uh, that's what it amounts to. Sure. I mean, just to sustain it. You've got to crack it with some stops if you're Oklahoma. Double screen. They've run this a few times. Clark getting into a tussle with Griffin. And there's a battle for the ball. Now players on the floor. 
10 on the shot clock. High screen, McGee goes all the way, and a foul is gonna be called underneath. Yeah, on the drive, I don't think they get Johnson on this one. No, they don't. They get Godbold. Yes, David Godbold guilty of the foul. That's his first non-shooting play, so Terrence Williams will inbound the ball, 18-point Louisville lead. Clark. There, there you go. go. How about the range, coach? Let me roam out there. Well, Jerry gonna, Smith down defensively. And Vern, he's going to be something, Clark, when he learns the whole package, you know, how to concentrate on every trip. Crocker. Johnson puts it on the floor. Stolen. Here's Smith at the other end, and Johnson elects not to chase it. Smart play, not fouling. But you've got to protect it when Louisville is around you. They deflect. They always got the hands working in there. Good job of defensive work by McGee. Well, this is the number six field goal defensive team in the country, Louisville. 38% given up to their opponents, and they're showing you some uh, defensive skills in this one. Now you can see why they really get after every shot. That's his big thing, his mantra. Challenge every shot. Percentages go down. And a follow through here by Clark. Gives him three. Longar on the deck. 14.56 remaining in the ball game. Still all Louisville. Minutes will be seen in its entirety immediately after the game, except on the West Coast, where it will be seen at its regularly scheduled time. David Godbold at the line, 14.56 remaining in this one. Shoots one more. Well, uh, we had uh, two more. We had a uh, terrific, terrific game earlier today. Tennessee in overtime, outlasted Butler. So they've moved on to Charlotte. They will await the winner of this one, either Louisville or Oklahoma. North Carolina also the top seed in the East, and they're beating Arkansas right now handily. And you're right about that Tennessee Butler game. That was just phenomenal. Oh boy, sit in here and watch those kids go after one another. 54-33. McGee and Clark, Paget Smith, and Terrence Williams on the floor for Louisville. He makes so many decisions. Look at him. Always active. Rescreening here. Slipping. Paget, that is. Curls. Clark. Paget can't quite control it, but. The offensive board from McGee and a fresh 35. Yeah, not a bad move by Earl Clark. Just didn't uh, finish it with that left. Jumper Williams. Tony Crocker with a rebound for Oklahoma. Right side, here's Godbold. And Earl Clark is going to get thought he had all ball. That was pretty close, I think. Yeah. He's kicked their hands. That's number three on him are so quick and they're clever. You anticipate that they can't do that. So Palacios is going to come back on. Realize who we, whom, whom we have not seen in a while? Derek Character. Picked From, up those two fouls in the first half and hasn't been back. And, and really, there's no reason for him to be right. in there the way they're playing. In fairness to the ref, it did look like they got the wrist on that, didn't it? I don't know if you would. You're being fair to the ref now? Well, I'm trying to be. But I love Is the this a result of mass last night? It may be. Kindness just emanates. And they're now with the three. Is character in the. No, he's got the pullover. Okay, all well, right. Taylor Griffin gets two. Here's Paget Palacios. Their bigs can handle and make decisions. It's pretty effective. Pretty important in this tournament. Yeah, it is. Look at this cut and pass. That's all Padgett. Twirled around, kept his presence. And then a terrific cut. Here's Godbold at the other end. A spin move, and it's stolen by McGee. A little one-touch passing. Crocker. 
The double from Palacios, they skip it out. Omar Leary for three, no. You know, I know that's unselfish, but why couldn't he turn and shoot that? Yeah. Blake, you know what I mean? They get the charge. Uh, they're not stopping playing and break Patino up and angry. Just that little twirl around and keeping your vision on the dive. How pretty is that? And he gets the is easy deuce because of a passing center. Taylor Griffin gets it into uh, David Godbold. And here's Tony Crocker. Tough thing for Oklahoma is they, as this game winds down, they're not a full court kind of a team that can right. you know, turn you over, get some easy baskets. Louisville, how about this? Four turnovers in the ball game now. And, and they play at a high pace. Yes. And very difficult not to make mistakes. Stripped. And Crocker picks up the foul. Here comes your Derek characters back on. Yeah. And he is one. That he is uh, part of growing up. Some of us haven't yet. <laughs> and why not? Uh, young at heart. I enjoy being Sancho Panza to your El Cid. <laughs> Yeah. Don Quixote, I guess as, it is, right? As much as I enjoy it. Yes. Here he is. A little power game by character. Character. There was Griffin. Good defense. Balls on the floor. Look at Taylor this. Griffin has it. That's great. Rolls it right to Terrence Williams. Palacios. Watch out, America, with this team. Don't you think? Yes, absolutely. Because they guard so well. They got that in their hip pocket, Ver. They're tenacious on catches, penetration, post-ups, and challenging shots. Or anything else? And turning them into points. Yes. Well, you think back to the beginning of the year. We talked about it the other night. They had Padgett and Palacios off. They were 7-3 and three before Christmas. They lost back-to-back -back games to Dayton and to Purdue. And then Padgett got humbled. Let's go to Greg Gumbel. 59-35 with 11.50 remaining. Godbolt at the free throw line. Been essentially the scoring threat now. He's got 15 points for the Oklahoma Sooners, but they find themselves trailing by 23. Yeah, they're extending the D. That's not something they do on a consistent basis. A lot of handlers on this team right now out there on the perimeter. Williams a playmaker as well. Nice little screen brush. Blow by. How about that? Nobody at home there communicating on the high post rub. That's when things go south on you, Vern. Crocker comes, Crocker comes back outside. 18 assists on 25 field goals. Well, it's late in the game in many ways, but you can just see here, nobody paying attention whatsoever. A little brush, and as the long guy has to be alert, maybe switch it. And how about this? You had mentioned that earlier. They are shooting the ball, and what that does to complement this extraordinary defense. It's exceptional. Taylor Griffin at the line gets one more, and now Kate Davis will come on. Number 34, he'll replace Tony Crocker for jo Jeff Capel's team. Uh, we chatted with Jeff Capel, the second-year head coach, uh, at the shoot-around two days ago. And he said, you know, we probably are a year early. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they exceeded expectations this year. Finished fourth in the Big 12. Did the Sooners. Got knocked out by Texas. Of course, Texas has advanced to the Sweet 16. Kansas as well, out of the Big 12. Jeff just a class act, and he really has done a wonderful job with this program. And they will get stronger. You know, let's hope Griffin stays there. And yeah, that's key, isn't learns it? Learns how to play, and how about this? Patino said, get off your Did you see Sosa? 
Uh, he was on his back, and he looked up, and he yelled something to Patino, uh, who was looking down at him. I'll tell you what, it's not someone you want to look up when you wake up and see your head coach. <laughs> well, Kate Davis tries to say that in camp. That was so terrific. If you know how exasperated the head coach has been with his sophomore guards, he falls down, and then Patino reaches out and gives him a little pat of affection on the head. <laughs> and he's smiling. Yeah, that was terrific. Uh, he has drawn the ire on occasion. Uh, that was one he knew he could get a little chuckle on. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Uh, terrific. Well, the, the placement was perfect. We near the midway point. Pass yeah. underneath from Terrence Williams. Knocked out of bounds. It will be Louisville ball. You know, when you've been chastised uh, during your career, like Edgar has, yep. uh, you've got to take advantage of those moments. That was cute. Oh, that was just great. Oh, goodness. Character. Nice little out of bounds play. Everything yeah. working. You know, mentally right now, you can see the breakdown with Oklahoma. The mind goes, you yes. know, the heart goes. It's like feeling pain. Thoughts turn to spring. Mm. Omar Leary has the ball now, under 10 to go, 9.52. And the winner will get uh, Tennessee next Friday in Charlotte. Longar. Got both. Two of them going, one's got to stay. That's, you know, again, communication on that situation. God ball should have said, you get it, you get it. Longar's out. Leary is out. Blake Griffin is back on the floor. And Vern, the thing about Louisville, they don't know any other way to play. They're just going to come high energy. So sure. Oklahoma's going to have to draw on the inners to, you know, show what they've accomplished this year and how tough they can be. Not right. necessarily to win it, but, you know, the dignity of it. Well, the unselfishness we've seen from Louisville has been exemplary. And then the ball protection. Four turnovers in the ballgame. Great judgments, screening well, making sure on lobs. All those things add up. Sosa, crossover in the lane. Uh, he, may, he, may, he should look up at the coach right now. Yeah, you're right. Davis calls for it far side, gets it. He'll take the three. That's his game, too. Character. Nice feed to Davis. And he'll get a free throw out of this. A good cut and then a great look by Taylor Griffith. That's what you want to see. K. Davis will go to the line. He's a true freshman out of Elk City, Oklahoma. Started uh, toward the end of the season. Has come off the bench in both of these games. Now, Godbold will rest for the Sooners. You know how faulty I am on stats, but yeah, is that, that still? That is terrific. Is, okay. He's not missed a free throw this year. 22 of 22. And it continues. How about that? He should not get fouled again. He hadn't gone to the line a lot. No, no. But still. That's still miraculous. Though. 23 of 23 for the season. Very good. Uh, Backcourt. And a foul. Nope. Over and back. It's amazing that education you well, took advantage yeah, of. Yeah, that, that, you had that LaSalle background. I got that Texas Lutheran thing going. Don't come to me with math, though. <laughs> you can handle that in. You've cast more checks, <laughs> or, or bigger ones, as and they I, say. And you've avoided a few. <laughs> 8.45 to go. No, we don't want to put the plug in this, but I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, barring something really miraculous, that uh, Louisville's going to advance here. Mm -hmm. What do you, you like Louisville, Tennessee? What do you see in that one? Well, it's interesting. The attitude of one is to press you initially, Tennessee, right. and then fall back. Louisville is relentless. And with that in mind, you know, they, they can cause some problems with that lack of point guard. So that's something that has to be addressed. I yes. think Tennessee not really sure of Prince or whomever they put back there. 8.24 to go in this one. Let's go back to Greg Gumbel in New York. 
Greg Gumbel in New York, the top seed in the South, Memphis Tigers with a three-point lead. They will have possession of the basketball when play resumes. Ten seconds remaining. Ian Eagle and Jim Spinarco are in Little Rock. And a three-point lead. For, for seconds shy of seven minutes to go. And this one has been all Cardinals all day long. They've hit 59 percent from the field. They've turned it over only six times. They've dominated points in the paint. Uh, not much to criticize in terms of the Louisville effort. You know Oklahoma at their best would have had trouble today. Would you agree. Yes. I mean, it was just an outstanding performance on all ends of the floor. They got a week to prepare. That's what's dangerous about Rick yeah. Pitino. Yes. And of course Bruce does too. Right. I mean that Tennessee. way. But right. This team's got a lot of weapons now that it, it, the passing of the big people jumps to my mind as a great compliment to everybody else on the floor for Louisville. Time is called. We'll return in a moment. 60 minutes coming up next as soon as this game is complete. We have 6.56 to go. 60 minutes will be seen in its entirety. And on the West Coast, you'll see it at its regularly scheduled time. 70 to 41. A lot of smiles for Louisville. The big guys have passed the ball well today. And that's why they're smiling with one another. They've got eight uh, between them. Williams with five, Pageant with three, and of course, then throw in Palacio with two. Boy, does that really help your offense? Keep purring. Here's Clark into the corner back outside we'll run a little clock now with 643 to go character number four that's four on Griffin character is a load to defend down there when he gets that deep big wide body Derek Character shoots two, four points tonight. CBSSports.com covers every minute of the madness. Get expert analysis, watch highlights and buzzer beaters, plus live scoring and stats for every game, all at CBSSports.com. Derek Character, one more. Sophomore. Hometown listed as Fanwood, New Jersey, and he fans on two. But the, Louisville's got it back. They went to St. Pat's for a few years, then up to Notre Dame. Kid that can really help them in power situations. Palacios. And Sosa. Looks like they got Taylor Griffin. That's his second of the ball game. So Louisville, Tennessee, Friday. North Carolina appears on the verge of advancing in the East region. Some surprises and uh, some chalk, huh? And Memphis withstood Mississippi State to win by three just a moment ago. Here's Clark underneath and a shove. Well, these refs don't want dinner, I don't think. <laughs> Clark picks up his fourth. Pleading his case with a degree of gentleness <laughs> and futility. 6-12 to go, and Taylor Griffin is going to go to the line. Now here's Will Scott, senior, transferred from Cornell, had that miracle shot that counted for three at the buzzer at the end of the first half and getting a little extensive playing time here toward the end of the game. One more. Well, let's uh, take a look at the Midwest region now. The four teams are set. Kansas will take on Villanova. This is in Detroit on Friday and Sunday and Wisconsin as Davidson comes from 14 down and knocks off Georgetown. Incredible, huh? Saw that Davidson early in the year against North Carolina. They lost in a reasonably close game. Played great throughout. Uh, played with a great degree of confidence. 
So those four teams are set. That's Detroit. Of course, Detroit will be the site of next year's Final Four. Six minutes to go in this one. I'd like to slip this kid inside because he can do so much. But he's back to the basket. Clark a load. Character is nice. Even nicer. Interior passing. Five fouls on Griffin. And he immediately strides to the Oklahoma bench. And the Oklahoma fans can only hope that he decides he wants at least one more year of the collegiate experience. And Vern, as good as the dunk, how about not only the pass, but the cut to get there and help his partner out by Clark. Real heady play. Clark gets the free throw, Blake Griffin. Eight points, seven rebounds. Five thirty-five to go. This one's all Louisville. They're up by 30. Blake Griffin has just fouled out the outstanding freshman for the Oklahoma Sooners. He leaves the game with eight points and seven rebounds. He just fouled Earl Clark. And there's Will Scott battling inside for the rebound. It's going to be Louisville ball. These are tough for kids and coaches when it's this way. You have no shot. It didn't well, not necessarily come with your rate game, but you played a team that was at the optimum of their level of play. Well, and you pointed out some 10, 15 minutes ago, they don't come from behind well. And uh, they're going to get uh, thumped pretty soundly now. In the Big 12 tournament, Texas held them to 49 points in the defeat. Mm. So, uh, Oklahoma, the season's going to end in the second round. Here's character. How about that duck in? Huh? Longer. Not really fighting for that position, making it easier. Oklahoma Louisville winner will advance and meet Tennessee in Charlotte on Friday. Here's Cade Davis. Knocked back to Davis. Now they are tenacious. Huh? The hands are in. He can elevate right here. He's got Will Scott a little shorter. Come up empty. Taylor Griffin, no call. Earl Clark, Sosa, Knowles, Palacios getting ready to come back on the floor. 4.15 to go, Knowles. Oh. Huh. Now Rick really admires that kid. Usually it's about his aggressive play, how he gets up and into you. And making some shots now. Everything going. Louisville, 9 of 17 on threes. They were 50% in their first round win against Boise State. Here's Knowles again. Winchester, Kentucky. Travel. Yeah. yeah. Three minutes, 52 seconds remaining. So today, Chevrolet players of the game for Oklahoma, David Godbold, 15 points. And for Louisville, Earl Clark, second game in as many. He's uh, been given that honor. 14 points in a fine all-round game today. Now, Stuart Miller's on for the final 347. In his dreams, he never thought he'd get 347 in, in the second round NCAA game, right? No, I would absolutely concur. Number, number zero. There he is, getting out on defense and forcing an air ball from Kate Davis. There's Jeff Capel, second year. On the right, that's his brother Jason, who played at North Carolina, and his dad, Jeff Jr., who was the head coach at Old Dominion for eight years. And is now an assistant coach with the Charlotte team in the NBA. Here's Davis back. Nice. And they even go to them, but nice. Farley. And he is a beloved player for and this uh, Louisville team. And, and you can see the dad there. He thought the goal was good, too. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's got to be really hard on Jeff. The dad has been a longtime coach. You mentioned with the Bobcats, but I first met him when he was at Wake Forest with Bob Stack. And, just to sit and see your flesh and blood struggle. Uh, this is a class family. A couple of years ago, they were going to go fishing with Granddad. I met them. Uh, just nice people that love the game and very good contributors. And Jeff, he'll be back, this kid. He's Jeff, a keeper. Uh, Jeff Capel has also cleared his bench. And so on the floor now, you've got Tony Naismith, number two, and Bo Gerber, number 45. 
Here's Farley. Battles for it. Tony Naismith, number two, the freshman from Norcross, Georgia. Under three to go. There's Omar Leary and Cade Davis. Bo Gerber. Fans are getting after it. These little they want it all. Don't right. They? Pound the flesh. Taylor Griffin. Nice. Nice move. Inbounded to Sosa. So on the floor now for the uh, final 220. Sosa, Farley, Palacios, Scott, and Stuart Miller. Now let's take you. Uh, Take a glance at the West Region. UCLA winning last night, coming from behind. Darren Collison with a huge game. Western Kentucky awaits them. And then Xavier and West Virginia, that'll be in Phoenix on Thursday and Saturday. You know, it's an attractive mix as you go around the regions of surprises, right? And some teams that, well, I thought they were going to be there. Well, UCLA had to really <laughs> overcome some obstacles to win last night. Thank God they got Collison. Yeah, and, and Kevin Love. And a little love doesn't hurt. Yeah, he's he's a pretty good player. Leary got the basket. Two minutes to go in this one. 78-47. Louisville takes on Tennessee in Charlotte. Let's see if Will Scott can get a shot. The place will go crazy. Not a good look. And here is uh, Omar Leary. Sosa guards him. Griffin off the front rim. Sosa with a rebound. Farley is going to get to go to the line. And uh, they filled in the four. Form is almost held. It really has yeah. in the south. That's going to be down in Houston. So Memphis outlasts Mississippi State by three earlier. Michigan State, Tom Izzo's team with a convincing victory last night. Stanford and Texas. So, uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, he will hear about that. Look at the beds. The beds is going. They're hiding their oh, face. Dear. Not that Look bags. at Patino. <laughs> Can you see so. Patino? <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> oh, 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 dear. Look at the kid. Now he got a piece. There. And he got rim. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he will hear about it all week. A little levity when they look at that tape. And a charge here. Look who picked it up. You can laugh Farley. at me on the free throw line. You bet. But not when it comes to position D. Terrence Farley, a hometown kid from Louisville. And we've got 110 to go. Leary will back off, and Sosa comes across the line. One minute left in the game. Pick and roll. Feed to Farley underneath. Uh oh, the worst thing in the world right now. He's got to go to the free throw line. Back to the free throw line. line. <laughs> now you think he'll get some razzing from his teammates? Look uh, at him. Look at their start. Look at already. him. They're already starting. They're starting. <laughs> <laughs> and the Louisville fans are going to stand to give him an O. This is terrific stuff. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> bend the knees, big fella. And he's serious out there. He's not looking over at the bench either. Well, Rick, Rick telling him what to do. He's 9 of 28 for the year. Wouldn't this be great if he'd make this one? Get yeah, in. No. Not, unfortunately. They'll give him one more chance. He doesn't want Oklahoma to foul. Sosa, him. no. There's the pick. Sosa. They feed Farley again, taken away by Griffin. 35 seconds to go in the ball game. Wow, is that an aggressive move, huh? Will Scott picks up the foul. Yeah, right at Will Scott. Well, it's always nice if you're winning to have a little levity. It'd be awfully hard to. Have Rick Pitino find anything wrong with today's outing? No, I can't imagine. And here comes. Lee Steiden's going to be the last player off the bench. Number 25 on the floor for Edgar Sosa. Lee Steiden, another hometown kid from Louisville. 
And Louisville and Tennessee will meet on Friday. Washington State. Tony Bennett seems so convincing. And they're going to take on North Carolina in Charlotte. Interesting pace with the way they play. They can bite you a little quick. Yeah. Spread the floor. Execute beautifully. Stuart Miller has it. Over and back. Louisville turnover with 24.2 seconds to go in this one. Right side, Naismith out of his hands. Touch last by Louisville. So 14.6 to go. Quick hands, it's out. 10 seconds to go. Naismith has it. Griffin with five seconds to go. The jumper no good. The final 78-48. Let's go to Greg Gumbel. All right, Vern, thank you. So Louisville moves.